hello and welcome back to my channel so over Memorial Day weekend I was languishing away kind of bored not really accomplishing much and decided I'd try to build myself a trestle system for my flyer track I'm using leftover 1x4s from all these shells now the original plan with this is I wanted to uh, get a piece of plywood and trace the track out and uh, cut that out and just place the um, supports where needed so I wouldn't have to bother with these big expanses, expanses over stuff. But not knowing uh, when, where, and how we may or may not be moving or whatever's going on with the house, I don't know. Um, I didn't want to spend money on it. So, I end up uh, spending a better part, the better part of a night with doing this. And these are made pretty simply, as you can probably tell. I um, cut a piece of one by four, two inches long, because that was just big enough to fit two, the um, two ties with a rail joint. I got a piece right here. I just found the center, drilled a pilot hole, and then used a bigger bit to countersink make a countersink for the screw so the track which everything would sit flush and because it's only got one screw in the middle you can second pivot it around and it's not pretty right now but i did go on to a uh i went on the tinkercad and made myself a designed myself my very own trestle it's uh basically the same it's the same size as this piece only uh, skeletonized with a square base I can screw to the table instead of this 45 degree nonsense and it, it's designed so I can keep the top piece I've and just screw down to the um, the new one I included a section right there in the middle of the hole designed into it so I can just screw it right down in theory I still need to test. I got the um, test sample print, 3D printing right now, so I'll be able to tell by the end of the day whether or not it's, that's going to work. So I can clean that this up later and make it look nice and paint the wood black or gray, whatever. And it does work. However, after I ran it three times over two days and I came down this morning to record a different video I'm just wanting to show it working that I did a thing and one of the insulators on the rail must have gave out I mean this track ain't the best condition anyway so but there's now a short in it so the locomotive will spark and spit and sputter and, and I'm pretty sure that issues on um, on the section of track because it'll slow down over there but I'm going to take it all apart and check every insulator. See, most of this is screwed down except for this. So as soon as I get that replaced, I can, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the track up and go over each and every one of it with a fine tooth comb and replace insulators with a Pepsi box if I have to. Or revisit the 3D printer. Maybe I can come up with my own little insulators but it does still work just not well You try to cut out these those down right there. See if there are all those sparks. Yeah. But it's definitely not happy. So one more thing on the list. But I think that's all I uh, 
have for now. I need to wait for that to get uh, finally get or finish printing and make sure it fits the way I want it to, and then start pulling up track. I guess I did design it so I could remove it in sections. On a lot of, the, a lot of these sections, I nailed down both the track to keep it from coming apart. But uh, like there and there, it's, it's only one, so I can easily pull it apart. So, yeah, I think that's all I got for now. I don't know when I'll get the new, get this done or get another update out because my place, my place of employment decided to take us to four 10 hour days to save money on utilities, I guess. And then decided to have us go in on the fifth day. So for this month and Possibly throughout the summer, I'm working five 10 hour days, which just sounds wonderful. But hey, I'll have more money for choo choos. So that's a thing. But I'll get back to you when I get back to you.